And right now, the families of these homes forced to find a new place to stay after an overnight fire destroyed this house and damaged the one next door. It happened in the 12,000 block of 132nd Place. 7 News reporter Lindsay Sablon is live there now. And Lindsay, fire investigators still trying to determine if anything can be saved there. Absolutely, Mike. From where we're just standing outside the home, it looks like the front at least is completely destroyed, if not the entire thing. You can see those two brick columns are where the garage was. If you go up a little bit, you can see the two front rooms completely destroyed. I just talked to a neighbor who lives across the street. He says he saw the fire start in the garage. Three minutes later, it looked like the entire home was engulfed in flames. As Westminster firefighters clean debris left from an overnight fire, the alarm in the home still beeping in the background. The four people who live here are not home at the time, but one stopped by today to see what was left. We weren't going to come by, and then I just, I just wanted just to come see, and you know, my heart just hurts. That was our home. Westminster firefighters got the call at 11:40 last night, and within minutes responded along with North Metro Fire. When they saw a fire coming out of the garage and upstairs windows, they thought that the whole house was involved initially. Firefighters arrived within six minutes of the call, but by then flames already spread to the neighbor's home, burning the front of their house. Two people living inside here escaped out the back. From the outside, you can see it's boarded up. Inside, there's stuffing hanging in their living room. As for Kilman's home, she says everything inside here can be replaced, but she's still looking for one missing family member. She's just a cute little black cat, and her name is Betsy, so if she resurfaces, that'd be amazing. Now you are looking live at the neighbor's home. Firefighters told me earlier they have to wait and see what the contractor says, but they think it'll be a couple weeks before this family can get back in their home. As for the home that was completely burned or at least somewhat destroyed, it looks like it's completely destroyed. They're still waiting to try to figure out how long it'll take to see if they have to demolish that home or if they can salvage some of it. Now firefighters are still investigating the cause, but just looking at that, they say they know it started in the garage. Live in Westminster, Lindsay Sablon, 7 News.